in the last video I published, I showed you guys how you can run a Python script from the command line. And this was a simple one-line script that we ran um, that said, hello world, from the command line. Now in this video, we're going to get a little more in depth, and I'm going to show you how you can add parameters to your script from the command line that you can then uh, use to parameterize or to, to get inputs for your Python script. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. And for this, because we're going to be using a little more Python instead of just one line, I'm going to do this in PyCharm. Um, and I already have a new project set up. So here's my Python, my PyCharm project. Um, it doesn't matter if you have an interpreter set up for this as long as you have one set up on the command line like we talked about last time. Now, I'm going to create just a new script. And I'm going to make a new Python file. And I'm going to call this um, CMD args. Okay, and in order to be able to use arguments on the command line, I need to do import sys, S-Y-S. I'll make this code bigger for you so you can see. All right, so let's say that I want to have a variable that uh, gives me the number. So I'm going to have a number, let's say my number equals 1, and then what my script is going to, what my script is going to do, it's going to print... Um, number, number, okay? And so if I go in and run this, and let's actually go do that, I'm going to open up my Anaconda prompt, and I'm going to have to, I'm going to change directory to where this is located, so it's going to be C code Python tutorials, and I can see what my tutorial folders are, and I have my CMD scripts, okay. And now, um, let me make this bigger for you actually as well. Let me zoom in on that. Just adjust this a hair more, okay. And so now if I run CMD args.py, I have to run Python, CMD args.py, and you can push tab to autocomplete, that's what I'm doing here. And now if I hit enter, it prints out number one. What if I want to enter my own number here? That's what we're going to cover next. Okay, so I've got this number one, but instead of doing just number one, I can get that number as an argument. Okay, and so let me show you something here. So let's do script name is going to be sys.argv zero, okay? And so the with sys.argv, this will return the arguments. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, print out the arguments we have. So let's do, let's do a couple things. Let's get rid of this code. Sorry, I, I kind of got sidetracked there. We're going to get rid of all this code. And we're going to use sys.argv, okay? And so we're going to print arguments equals sys.argv. That should print all the arguments. Okay. Oh, sorry, not an equal sign, comma, sys.argv. That will print all our arguments. Now, let's do for arg in sys.argv. Let's print arg, okay? And so that will print them out individually. And so we'll get a list of all the arguments, and then we'll get them printed out individually, okay? Now let's go ahead and give this a run from the command line and see what happens. So let's go up and we'll run Python cmd args.py. You can hit the up arrow to run a previous command, so I'll hit enter. And you can see that it only had one argument. It gave us a list and only had one argument there. Okay, so let's go from, let's see if I put in, um, in quotes, my name is, and then I put another one in, um, OSO, and then I put another one, number is two. Okay, now let's see what happens. If I hit enter. 
you can see that we have this list of one, two, three, four, five arguments. And we've printed out one, two, three, four, five arguments. All right. So let's head back to our script here and see how we can use those. Okay. So let's say that I want to get one argument in this script. Um, and I want that to be my number. So we'll go back to the original number example. So let's do number is going to equal sys.argv. And I want to get the first position in that list. This returns a list. So I want to get the second position in that list, the index of number one. The index zero is going to be my script name, which is cmd underscore args. Okay. And so now I'm going to print the number entered was, and then print the number. Okay. So let's go ahead here and go back to our command line. We'll go up and run this same command again, except we'll just put in a number three this time. Okay. And this the number entered was three, and it still prints out. Um, our arguments in the list there. Now let's go up and change this number to 100. The number entered was 100. Now let's say um, I want to make sure that this argument is an integer. Okay, And so um, what I can do there is I can do well first let's print out the type here so we can do Type number. Okay. And let's just see what we get when we do this. So we're going to print out the number entered was number and then the type of that number. So let's run this in our prompt. Going to hit enter. And you can see that it's entered as a string. Okay. And I want that to be an integer. But these are coming in as strings. So we can do int number. And when we do that, you can see it still came out as a string because we didn't change that. We have that. Now what I can do is if I go back here and I want this to be an integer, I can do int here. And when I do type of number, it should come back as an integer. So let's go run that. Okay, now you can see that it came back as an integer. All right, so this is a very, very simple example, but it shows you how these parameters or these arguments are returned from the command line in a list, and it shows you how you might have to change, how you can access those, and how you may have to change the types because they come in as strings. So depending on what format you need this variable in, you may have to change the format as that variable does come in. But that gives you an idea of how you can use the command line to pass parameters into a Python script. Um, and like I said in the previous video, this can really improve your efficiency and allow you a lot of flexibility in using your Python scripts um, across computers, across platforms, um, and scaling them up for uh, multiprocessing um, or for supercomputers. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to check out open source options uh, if you want to see more content and please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos from the open source options channel.